Day four of the Tokyo Olympic Games has seen the shock early exit of tennis star Naomi Osaka. While Hong Kong athletes have continued their impressive form, with swimmer Siobhan Horhey cruising into the finals of the women's 200 metres freestyle. For more, let's head to Tokyo. Johnny, Naomi Osaka has bowed out quite early from these Olympics. Yeah, all too early. Um, if, you know, the script writers at the Tokyo Olympics would have had their way, you know, she was meant to win gold. She was certainly meant to challenge for a medal. Um, you know, she's the face of the Olympics, a home hope. We've been waiting for a long time for this, an extra year, in fact. Um, but it didn't work out. She was beaten handsomely today by uh, Marketa Vondrasova of the Czech Republic. Um, and Osaka admitted afterwards that she didn't play her best tennis. Mm. She didn't play the shots she can normally rely on. Um, and it was the Czech's day. World number 42 against the world number two. Osaka will be kicking herself because she was the highest ranked player left in the tournament after Ash Barty's party was ended early on the first round. Um, so this is a missed opportunity for her and a missed opportunity for these Olympics. Uh, things are looking up uh, for our Hong Kong athletes with Siobhan Horhey. She's made it to the finals of the 200 metres freestyle tomorrow morning. Uh, how did she swim today? Oh, she was fantastic. It was a great swim. Um, she was in a heat with Ariane Titmus, um, Australia's new golden girl. Um, and, you know, she was next to her and to the former Olympic champion from London 2012, uh, Smith. And Siobhan took off really well. She was leading most of the way. She was just outside world record pace at 100 metres on that turn. Titmus, it must be said, absolutely powered home, maybe the last 15 metres. Um, she was going some clip at that stage. Um, but she was only just ahead of Siobhan. And considering they, sat, um, they swam in the, the first of the two semi-finals, so they didn't know what they needed to do. Those two were the fastest overall, and Ledecky, who won the next semi, was third fastest. So she's in fine form going into a final, which is historic as Hong Kong's first swimming final. Um, and she said afterwards, you know, she expects more swimmers to follow in her footsteps. Let's see what footsteps they have to follow into because uh, she's going into the final with a great chance. Yes, there's two fantastic swimmers um, in Titmus and uh, Ledecky, but why not? Let's dream a bit, but no pressure at the same time. No pressure. Yeah, all eyes on, on Siobhan tomorrow morning and hope, hopefully she can bring home another medal for Hong Kong. What about China? How has Team China performed today? Uh, a mixed day for China, I think it's mm -hmm. fair to say. Um, the volleyball team, they're still winless. They played the USA, the world number ones. Um, they did not win. Um, they lost 3-0 again, but it was a much more spirited performance. Uh, Ju Ting, their star player, the MVP in the final when they won gold in Rio in 2016. She was maybe not back to her best, but she was the top scorer for the Chinese today. And considering Coach Lang Ping the other day said she had a wrist injury, this looked a lot more promising. Um, they, took, they took the US the distance in every set. They were hard fought and hard won sets for the US. But China are winless and they need to do a bit more if they're going to get out of this group. Uh, it's the top four of the 16 group that goes through. And if there are any dreams of holding on to gold, then they need to sort that. Um, for the rest of China's day, gold in, in diving, uh, as has come to be expected when Great Britons are not being slightly greater than Chinese divers. Um, and then also the table tennis, uh, after a bit of an upset last night where China was a, ruled out of getting a sweep for the first time since 2004 games in Athens. Um, they were back to winning ways today. No medals on offer just yet, but everyone put in a winning performance. Now, Johnny, what can we look forward to tomorrow? Uh, there's obviously Siobhan's historic swim, and we're hoping for somewhere on the podium for that. But again, no pressure. Already made history. Um, she's actually in the pool again in the evening in the 100 metres heats. Um, so, yeah, she's a big day for her. Uh, and then in the badminton, we've got a, a mixed doubles quarterfinal where Tang and Se are playing a British pair who shockingly topped their group after beating the world number two and number two seed Thai team. Um, so that'll be a challenge. And the Hong Kong team have got the advantage career-wise over them, although the British won the last time they met a year ago. But hopefully forms out the window from last March and uh, Hong Kong can look forward to a semi-final.
Yeah, let's hope so. It seems like there's some big uh, events happening tomorrow that we'll keep our eye on. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, Johnny. Thank you.